This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, good evening everybody. We are learning tonight, the night before Rosh Hashanah. So ready, Arab Rosh Hashanah? We know the Torah tells us that in the process of Kapara, Arab Rosh Hashanah actually plays a very important role. In fact, the Torah brings down from the Medrash that a third of the Chatam are forgiven on Arab Rosh Hashanah, a third during the ten days of repentance, a third of the and a third on Yom Kippur. To the point where the Beis Yosef asks, how could that be? That means Arab Rosh Hashanah is just as important as Yom Kippur. So, the different answers, the first third is not necessarily as important as the last third, but in any event, Erev Rosh Hashanah is a very important thing. Now we're discussing the third ingredient of tshuva, the ingredient of yagain. Yagain is a bitter sorrow, more than charata. Charata is just feeling bad that you did not vera. Yagain is a more intense feeling of pain. It says, Rabbeinu Yaina, umadregais ha tshuva umaloisa. The various levels of tshuva, lefi goidel hameriros veoitzem hayagai, all depend on the bitterness and the sorrow. In other words, how do we judge a tshuva? How do we judge the value of a tshuva? Tshuva is measured by the sorrow that we feel, by the bitterness that we feel. A tshuva is determined, is valued at how how much sorrow you feel. That's the primary criteria, that's the primary consideration. And this type of tshuva, this, the type of tshuva that comes from a real tsar over Navera, the tshuva asher tavay miderech tayar hanefesh, it comes from the purity of the nefesh, the zakos sikhla, and the <clears throat> pristine state of the intellect. In other words, this tshuva is not attainable by everybody. This concept of yagain, the pain that a person feels over, na, over, over an avera, really can only come from a certain purity of nefesh. Ki lefi sikhlai, according to one's seicha, lefi asher tipakachna enav, the more your eyes are open, the more honest you are, the greater your intellectual sophistication. Yerbu v'yatsmu b'moid ma'oid yagainav b'rayoinav aroiv avainav. The greater, the more intense, the more powerful will your sorrow be in your thoughts. Kemoy shenemer, like the pasuk says in Sefer Yeshaya, Kilay la'olam ariv. I will not strive with you forever. God says, V'loy l'netzach exef. I won't be angry at you forever. If you do navera, I'll get over it. Why? But only if the following, Kiruach milafana yatoif. The spirit before me envelops itself when a shamois aniasisi, and I have made the soul. Says Rabbi Yoyna, a very beautiful thought, and that is, you have two people, they both sinned, they both did a basic tshuva. Basic tshuva is again vidoy, harata, aziva sachet. And now, as we explained, to really cleanse the shama, remember a couple mornings ago. I had a brand new shirt. I had a new shirt. I look at the collar. What is this? It's all the collar is dirty. Yeah, the it wasn't sprayed enough. The collar wasn't sprayed enough with enough shad, with enough bleach. But it's brand new. Basically, I only wore it a couple times. Yeah, but uh, you want to get a stain out. You gotta. It's not enough just to throw it in the washing machine. You need detergent. You need you need bleach. Now here you have two guys. They both did a basic chuba. Now we know there are other things necessary to eradicate the Avera completely. One guy had a little tsar, so you know tsaras could wipe out, could be mechaper, and the other guy felt yagain. Yagain is like a pain in the neshama of a shortcoming to Hashem. Which is valued more in the eyes of God in terms of gaining kapara, somebody's physical pain or the pain of the yagain? Says Rabbeinu Yaina. God values the intense pain of the neshama a lot more than the physical pain. You know why? Because when you get, when you get, if two people call you for money, one of them is related to you and one of them is not, you feel more sympathetic to your relative. So too, God says, the neshama is my relative. The neshama is a piece of me. I am more sympathetic when somebody has a neshama dika pain, which is yagain, than a physical pain. We're done the way in the first place. Yeah, they both did the avir. But if somebody 
is being punished with a physical pain. God says the body, the body has no relation to the body. The body is a stranger from a different country. But you have a, a, a sorrow in your neshama. God says that's like my relative, that's like my cousin. I value that very much. That is very dear to me. Says Rabbi Yoyna. The explanation is, Kasher Yatoif V'yitztair Haruach. When the soul is pained, Shehum Elefanai, the soul comes from before God. Kihum in Hal Yoynim, the soul is a lofty spiritual entity. V'yatfu Neshama Yisashar Ani Asisi. And the Neshama that I created is enveloped in sorrow. Says God, Loy Ariv Oid, I won't fight with you anymore. I won't have a problem with you anymore. I'll forgive you. V'loy Eksayf. How can I not have mercy on nefesh yikara on your precious soul? Because the soul came from before me. When the shama is ani asisi, and I made the soul. In other words, what's what's Rabbi Nuyan is saying? The greatest kind of tshuva is if you could get a feeling in your neshama that oh, the neshama says, oh, I didn't do what I should have done. I I was lacking in my in my my obligations to my Creator. The feeling of the neshama is so dear to God, it is valued at even greater than Sarah the Guf. So Zabinu Yana, the mashal is, al yekal ha'avayn, a sin is mitigated and lessened, kifi asher tichbar avayda so'anach alav, the more genuine anguish you have. Ki ha'yagayn yavayn me'ez tayar ha'neshama ha'yana, because yagayn emanates from the purity of the soul. And this is more appeasing to God. This is more favored by God. More than He favors. In other words, basically, you know, we're giving you very good advice here. Because, you know, how do you save your skin? The person doesn't have Vera. The Yom says, Anyway, if I punish him physically, what good is that going to do him? It only takes off a little bit. I'd rather see if I could have him feel that tsar in his neshama. That is much more poignant to me. I'll give you a very simple mashal. You get two letters in the mail. One, your first cousin making a chasana. And, um, and chasana costs $50,000. And they're $2,000 short. First cousin. Then you get a letter in the mail. You know, some family, nebuch, you know... They're, they're in terrible debt, and this one is gravely ill, and that one is gravely ill. But you don't know them from a hole in the wall. Who are you more likely to help? Very likely, you're more likely to help your cousin, even though they need it much less than the other person. Because you don't know the other person. You have no connection to the other person. So too, Hashem says, I value the tsar of the neshama more than the physical pain of the guf. He says, Mahamashal was that. Ki hamelech ha king yachmal al chanicha vgilide beisa yakor meilav. The king will have more mercy on those who grew up in his palace. Vehemei atzilei arts hanachvadim. Those who are honorable members of the royal house. Vehitim hem chanino yoisa. And he will show more compassion to them. Mechemosa el archaikim ha'absuchim. Ba'abchusim. Much more than people of lesser stature. V'yomar when Hashem is ani asisi. What does God mean when He refers to the Hashem that I made? That's referring to how close Hashem is to them. Even though you could say the body itself is also made by God, but the neshama is certainly considered much more associated with God. And he quotes, he quotes the Gemara condition that says every person has three partners: a father, mother, and Hashem. The father gives the white, the mother gives the red, and Hashem creates the neshama. So we see God is more associated with the neshama than the goat. And therefore, when we're doing tshuva to Hashem. If you could even muster and squeeze out a little bit of a yearning of the neshama and a certain pain in the neshama, that, oi, how could I have sullied myself? That is so valuable. That is so precious in the eyes of Hashem. I wish everyone here a ksiva, a chasima taiva, a good keben shiar, a year of good health, a tzlach araba, bimali Hashem, kol mishal es libchem taiva. Take care. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.